Good day everyone, we are third years, section A from Bachelor of Science in Nutrition and Dietetics. And today, we will be discussing about the qualifications and skills of the caterer with interview of a business owner. A caterer job description. A caterer or catering chef is in, in charge of preparing, delivering, and serving bulk meal orders to clients based on their menu selection and event type. Their duties include developing menus and service packages, coordinating meal delivery, managing event schedules and food preparation timelines, setting up equipments to serve food and preserve its temperature, shopping for ingredients, cooking food and advertising their business to bring in new clients. These caterers pala ay nagsiserve sila ng meals to diners at special event, gaya ng wedding, anniversary party, wedding meeting, birthday parties, ganun. Yung mga caterer, sila na din yung from shopping from uh, from shopping the ingredients hanggang sa cooking, hanggang sa pagdi-deliver or hanggang sa pagse-serve uh, nasa kanila na lahat 'yon. Sila na lahat yung gagawa nun. So, ang skills and qualifications of a caterer ay dapat may advanced customer service skills sila, open-minded sila ganun para in case of meeting some cl- clients that has a bad attitude ganun. Alam nila kung anong gagawin nila. Doon na rin papasok ang leadership and supervisory skills nila. And they have the knowledge of dietary restrictions and ability to come up with menus accordingly. Itong safe food handling policies ay napaka-importante as a caterer kasi since food ang business, dapat malinis talaga yung mga gagamiting utensils and ingredients. In case na walang practice of safe food handling policies, Pwede ring masira yung pangalan ng company or food business nila. Dito, dapat alam mo kung paano ka makipag-usap. Alam mo yung mga dapat mong sabihin. Dapat hindi ka nalulutang, ganun. Dapat active, active ka din sa pakikinig ng kliyente mo or sa mga employees mo din. Dapat open communications kayo between the executives, ganun. Yung mga clients or employees, ganun. And kapag meron kang excellent communication skills, kasi... Uh, da, magaling ka din sa mga pakikipag-negotiate, ganun. Problem-solving skills kasi is it can help the leaders make quick decisions and mare-resolve agad nila yung problema with the team. And lastly, the time management and organization skills is they know how to manage their time. Tsaka, importante yung time management kasi you're more efficient and calm in a way that can help you do more what you have to do faster and nakokontrol mo pa rin yung oras na yun. and you develop more qual- qualities once you apply kasi your, your skills techniques and strategies you'll find that they only work in conjunction with qualities that we all have like it's our patience patience persistence and discipline and we learn to be assertive now let us proceed to the duties and responsibilities of a caterer We have here the preparing and storing food safety. First and foremost, caterers must pay attention to safety protocols. Because it is food that they are handling, food safety should always be at the forefront of catering service of any catering services in mind. Proper temperature control, storage, and the cleanliness must be observed at all times. And also, setting up and tables, setting up all tables and food service areas. Some caterers or some types of catering in some types of catering. Caterers are also those who are setting up the food tables and other food service areas, so it is a must that they know how to properly set up. Moreover, uh, serving food to guests at events and cleaning up and tearing down the dining area. So basically, it is a duty of a caterer to not only cater the food, but also to assist in preparing, serving, and cleaning as well. Next is creating menus with client's preference and dietary needs. Here, they meet up with clients to discuss specifications and guess their tire requirements, and they plan the event menus. Also, they visit sites to assess kitchen facilities and plan on how would the flow of their work would be. And here is to, it's one of their duty and responsibility is to order any necessary supplies that they will be needing for that specific catering service. Also, it's a responsibility of a caterer to settle on prices and creating contracts. 
Here, a caterer must be able to pay close attention to specific details for them to be able to have a smooth flowing service with their client. Now, let us proceed what are the qualities of a good caterer. Of course, we have here uh, friendly and positive and must provide excellent hospitality. Friendly and positive and must provide excellent hospitality for all of their clients and guests because no one wants to have a rude caterer, right? Because it can also affect our mood when a caterer is rude. Well, it was discussed earlier that a caterer must have an excellent communication skill to be able to have a good talk or communicate to be able to communicate well with their clients and guests. And also they are natural leaders. Next is self-motivated and must have excellent stamina. We, we know that caterers work long hours do, doing intense physical labor in the kitchen and setting up events. So they need to be self-motivated and help have excellent stamina to keep up with the pace of their work. So lastly, we interviewed a business owner or a caterer. So she is Janeline Claudio, owner of Gia's Lunch and Kapi and Apong Resto Cafe. Gia's Lunch opened last June 2022, while Kapi and Apong Resto Cafe opened in October 2022. She has a business partner, which is her husband, and they decided to open a food business rather than a dry goods because they observed that people always like food. So Gia's Lunch is located at KM5 Nardas Compound beside Baliwag here at La Trinidad Benguet. So they serve budget meals, noodles, coffees, rice bowls, teas, snacks, beverages, and they have Gia's special menu. If you want to visit the physical store, they have Facebook account which is Gia's Lunch. Next is the Kapi and Apong Resto Cafe that is located at Benguet Capital Compound, La Trinidad Benguet. So they serve coffee, lattes, lemon blend, fruit soda, and other beverages. For more information, please visit their Facebook account which is Kapi and Apong. So after letting her introduce herself and her business, we asked her some duties and responsibilities of a caterer. So as for her, they must serve a clean and freshly made product. Second, they prepare and store food safely. Third, they serve food to guests. Fourth, they maintain good customer service. Fifth, they clean up and tear down the dining area. Sixth, they create menus. And lastly, they settle menu prices. With these duties and responsibilities of a caterer, one must possess skills and qualifications in order to do this in high quality. First, they must be knowledgeable in preparing food and beverages. Second, they must be also knowledgeable in marketing. Third, they must have advanced customer service skills. Fourth, they must have the ability to come up with the menus accordingly. Fifth, they must have an excellent communication skills. Sixth, they must have problem solving and critical thinking skills. And lastly, they must have time management and organizational skills. So as for my experience, she said, being a caterer, I have to learn the likes of the customers. I also have to learn how to prepare our menus. Innovation of foods and beverages help me also to catch the taste of the customers. It is also important to have impressive customer service. Lastly, we let her define what is a good caterer. So according to Mrs. Claudio, a competent caterer fulfills customers' wants for food and beverages with a passion to satisfy their cravings. Since if you're a caterer without passion, your service won't be worth it. So that concludes our interview. Thank you for listening.